Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Trap on the Boom and Bust channel, Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry. Today, I'm talking about our possibly last pick in the draft. Seven-round pick by Chicago Bears was Javon Wims, receiver out of Georgia. Really, really, really like this pick. This pick, well, I'm going to talk about Wims first, but there's another thing I want to talk about. Javon Wims out of Georgia is a pick that... um Really intrigues me because there wasn't a whole lot of tape on him. And so I wasn't able to do a complete report. But just watching him in the playoffs for the NCAA uh, playoffs. But also the things that I did see, I was really intrigued. I mean, you're talking about a guy that's uh, a long frame. uh, Pretty slender, but a, a long frame, long arms. And so you were really thinking that he has the catch radius and can really be explosive. You watch some of his highlights and some of his games. You see that he wins jump balls. He's about 50-50 balls. And that's uh one of the parts of being a receiver. But Wims also brings you the ability to get downfield. You see him move and run. He's a smooth athlete. Now, is he a pure burner? No, not exactly. But still, uh, again, with... The way that he wins underneath and the way that he can go up and get the ball, you got to believe that if you continue to refine his route running, he can get downfield. And so looking at what type of athlete we got, uh, he's 6'3", uh, ran a 4.53, so low 4.5s, high 4.4s. So again, he's not a pure burner, but I think once you get the double moves going, once you get his ability to uh, really sell his routes, he can get behind defenders. And this goes back to my thing with the Bears last year. Everybody, we remember. We remember those injuries. We remember how unprepared we were for so many people to get hurt at one position. And so you might be thinking, man, we got Allen Robinson. We paid Taylor Gabriel. Uh, we, uh, went and got Anthony Miller. We still kept Kevin White. Now we get another one. You can't, you can't, uh, predict what will happen. And I think this gives us a nice core. You think about Bellamy, who, uh, was a real special teams, uh, player for us, but also had to be called upon to go in to work. And so now the core, of uh, players you want to turn over to a younger group that if they get called in to play, we got some uh, young legs. So anyway, Javon Williams is really interesting to me. I mean, again, I think he can go up. He's explosive. I think he's got a real uh, good catch radius, lanky guy, uh, unrefined. I wouldn't say he's master route running or anything like that. Uh, definitely not a blocker, stuff like that. But I think We get him in here. He's 215. I think he could work to get a a little stronger, but I like his, I like his frame and I like his potential. This is a good pick for me. Now, the other part of it is Equanimous St. Brown. (laughs) We passed on him so many times and he went, uh, really low. I believe it was the sixth round. Yeah. Still the sixth round when he went to the Green Bay Packers, the hated rival. That hurts. That hurts a whole lot. And I really feel bad because we passed on Equanimous, however you pronounce the name. We passed on him so many times. And I, I just, it, it feels a little upsetting that we didn't go him because if we would have got a wide lead, a running back out of Iowa or anybody else right now, I'd be okay. But the fact we went and got another receiver that shows we still looking at receiver. But we somehow passed on St. Brown all these times. It just feels sucky to me, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't know what Fitz is going to turn into. I don't know what um Joel out of Western Kentucky is going to turn into. I don't know what any of these guys are going to turn into. But I can say that I would personally, uh, personally give up the value in that fourth round pick or that uh, sixth round pick. Or that fifth round pick, I would have gave that up to get, uh, St. Brown. So, uh, him pairing up with, uh, Rodgers, I think they're going to end up having some fireworks. I, I do think he's going to reach his ceiling a lot quicker with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers because St. Brown, as I said many times before, he played in Notre Dame where they didn't have a quarterback that could help him out. And so people look at that lack of production this year as his fault. 
and he dropped because of it. It might have been something else. It might be medical. It might be off field. We don't know, but he fell way further than anybody thought. And so the Bears had so many chances to get him, and we would have my two favorite receivers in this group, or two out of the three favorite receivers, uh, St. Brown and Anthony Miller, but we pass it up. Now, Javon Williams is super intriguing to me, and I think he has a lot of potential, but over St. Brown, not sure how you justify that, but that's just for me. So anyway, go to comment section. Let me know what you think about our last pick. This should be our last pick. We might trade. Who knows? But uh, let me know what you think about the draft class. Uh, check out the video later. I'll be talking about our draft class as a whole. But uh, let me know what you think right now. And thumbs up, subscribe, share it around, get the convo started. Remember, stay up and bear down.